Hello and Namaskar. Welcome to another session of BW for HANA Tidbits, where I share some of my knowledge and experience. My name is Devanshu Mukherjee, and today I would like to share the old versus new objects in BW for HANA. This is just a brief summary to get a glimpse of what objects or tools have replaced which ones. So let's get started. All right, so let's look at the obsolete and the successor objects in SAP BW for HANA. We'll start with the modeling objects and then we'll move on to the reporting tools. And finally, we will see which objects are still relevant in BW for HANA. All right, so let's start with our most famous and beloved info provider called InfoCube, which implemented this extended star schema in SAP BW. It was one of the cornerstone info providers for BW, but now it has been replaced by advanced DSO in BW for HANA. Then the classic DSO, which is another very popular uh, and heavily used info provider in classic BW. It is also replaced by advanced DSO. RDA, real-time data acquisition, is now replaced by streaming process chains. And the way streaming process chain works is that uh, there's a flag in basically an attribute of a process chain. It's a flag. And if you check that flag, what it does is in the source, say, for example, S4 HANA is the source. And we have OD queues, which are operational data queues, which is part of ODP framework, by the way. So if we have OD queues, it starts a daemon job in S4 HANA, which constantly monitors the operational data queues. And as soon as there are new records, it immediately alerts and starts the BW process chain. So that's how the streaming process chain works in a nutshell. That has replaced the RDA. Then moving on to the virtual providers, there are three types. Virtual providers based on TTP, which is replaced by OpenODS view. And OpenODS view is also, you know, one of the new objects uh, in LSA++. Then we have virtual provider based on SAP HANA model, meaning attribute views or analytical views or calculation views. Now it is replaced by OpenODS views or composite providers because both OpenODS views and composite providers can access uh, HANA views. Then we have virtual providers based on function module which is replaced by a new type of provider, which is called BADI provider. The naming convention starts with 3B and it is completely implemented by ABAP. So you cannot just right click in the HANA studio or Eclipse and say new BADI provider. There is no option. What you have to do is there is a specific enhancement spot, which is called RSO underscore BADI underscore provider. So you just go to that enhancement spot and then implement your methods and interfaces for that BADI. And that's how you implement the BADI provider. Then moving on to hybrid providers. Again, the ADSOs have replaced hybrid providers. So you are seeing that ADSO is one of the major uh, info, info providers in BW for HANA for storing transaction data, which has replaced many, many classic info providers. So ADSO is a very important one. Then we have info sets and multi providers, which were the abstraction layer, which provided union and join functionalities. Both are replaced by composite providers in SAP BW for HANA. And please uh, make a note of the T logo object type, which is HCPR, HANA composite providers. This is different than the old composite provider, which was COPR. So the obsolete and old composite providers are also now replaced by new type of uh, composite providers, which is HCPR. Then coming to PSA, well, this was a surprise to me also, but yes, it's true that PSA is no longer mandatory. Uh, and in fact, it is now obsolete. It is replaced by field-based advanced DSO of type staging. So PSA is gone now. And uh, we have ODP framework, which has, you know, which has enabled uh, the, uh, the removal of this layer okay which has made the psa redundant and now you can replace it with a field based advanced DSO. then we have info objects with master data access via a hana attribute view now it is replaced by open ods view of type master data 
SPOs, semantically partitioned objects, are replaced by semantic groups, which are comprising of ADSOs, which, which comprises of ADSOs. Meaning, there is still the concept of semantic group, which can generate many similar advanced DSOs. So that concept is still there. Local composite provider in workspaces. So workspaces uh, had something called local composite provider and the T logo object type was COPR. Now it is replaced by uh, a new T logo object type, which is CPRO. So this composite provider is different than the HCPR. Please take a note of that. So this is a different composite provider and the BW4 HANA standard composite provider is different. Standard composite provider is HCPR and the local composite provider in the workspaces specifically is CPRO. Then we have technical content data sources, which are the standard, uh, you know, zero TCT objects, technical content objects, which gave us the statistics, BI statistics. They are now replaced by ABAP CDS view based statistical content. And it is now purely virtual. So you don't have to load any data into any cubes or, you know, into any DSOs. It is purely virtual. And uh, there are two types. Uh, one is a transient provider, which is two CRV, and the other one is an actual query, uh, which is two CRV star Q. So the queries will end in Q. They are both based on two different types of ABAP CDS views. One is based on analytic CDS views, and the other is based on the query CDS views. But the point to remember here is that the technical BI statistics content has been replaced by ABAP CDS views, and it is now a part of support pack not a part of your BI content add-on. Okay, another one is generic data sources in BW, uh, which is again replaced by BAP CDS views, meaning custom data sources. Now SAP is recommending to create based on a BAP CDS views. Info package is obsolete, guys. Another one which surprised me a little bit, but yes, that's true. We don't need info package because PSA is not there. Info packages are also obsolete and DTPs can now directly read the data from the ODQs, operational data queues. So DTP has replaced info package. Then we have RSA1 modeling tab inside RSA1. So basically RSA1 was one of the most frequently used transaction code for any BW consultant. And it had a modeling tab, which was the first tab, which gave a lot of options like info providers, data sources, info sources, info objects, so on and so forth. That modeling tab is gone. Please remember the T code still exists, but the modeling tab within the T code is no longer there as part of the SAP GUI. That has been replaced by Eclipse based modeling. That means HANA studio based modeling. Delta queues, again, uh, RSS seven uh, is gone, uh, is obsolete replaced by operational delta queues and the transaction code for that is ODQ mon. PSA record manipulation. Yes, that's another very uh, interesting point. You can ask me that, okay, if PSA is obsolete, what about the functionality of modifying the data in PSA and then pushing it from PSA? How about that? That was one of the important features which we used quite frequently. Well, the good news is that DTP provides something called a DTIS, Data Transfer Intermediate Storage. It is nothing but an error stack, you can say. So if you activate error stack option, error handling option rather, you will get something called a DTIS and within DTIS, all the erroneous records get stored. You can manipulate them and then you can further process them. Then we have APDs. So the old concept of APD analysis process designer is no longer there, obsolete replaced by HANA analysis process, HAP. Another important uh, you know, aspect where we used to code our uh, custom logic a lot were CMOD based customer exits, which was RSR based projects. That is gone, no longer there. And enhancement spots, the baddy enhancement spots, RSROA has taken its role now, which is an OOPS concept. Then we have DAP, data archiving process that is no longer now available. We have something called DTO, which is data tiering optimization. It's a new concept in BW4HANA, which has replaced the DAP. 
RSA1 conversion of logical systems we used to have this conversion of logical systems to maintain the source and target especially for the transports so that you can find in RSA1 transport connection edit and then transport and then conversion of logical system name so you have to go to the transport connection tab in RSA1 and then from there you have to navigate to the conversion of logical system name so it's still there but this is the navigation where you can find that. Then moving on to process chain display, component hierarchy, you know that we had a separate folders for process chains which were called display component hierarchies. They are no longer there. Now it is replaced by info areas. Similarly, info object were stored under catalogs. Info object catalogs for characteristics, info object catalogs for key figures they are now completely replaced by info areas. So in a nutshell, picture speaks a thousand words. Here's a picture which clearly tells you which objects are, I mean, it doesn't cover all the objects we discussed, but it covers the main core objects which you will use during the modeling. Okay, so composite provider and open ODS views are non-persistent info providers, giving us virtual access and advanced DSO, info object and data sources are the persistency and connectivity objects which have replaced the previous versions. Plus we can also access the HANA calculation views and any HANA SQL modeling option which you create in native HANA you can easily consume with PW4 HANA objects such as open ODS views or composite providers. All right, so that uh, ends the modeling objects. Now look at, let's look at the reporting artifacts or the reporting objects or the tools rather. Okay, let's start with Query Designer, another very, very frequently used tool for any BW consultant. The Query Designer tool is no more there. Now it's a part of Eclipse and it's called BW Modeling Tools Query Designer. Bex Analyzer, replaced by Analysis for Office Excel Edition or you can also use SAP Analytics Cloud if you want to do reporting in cloud. BEX Web is replaced by Lumira Designer or SAP Analytics Cloud. So whenever I'm saying or, it is basically on-premise versus the cloud. So Lumira Designer is on-premise and SAP Analytics Cloud is your cloud-based solution. BEX Information Broadcasting is replaced by Business Objects Platform Scheduling Option. Integrated planning, which is IP, is now replaced by BPC 11.0 add-on, which is there specifically for BW for HANA, or you can use SAP Analytics Cloud. So you can see that SAP Analytics Cloud is slated or positioned to replace many reporting tools in the future. So that's what I have uh, shown you here. So business objects, what is the future direction? There has been a lot of uh, confusion regarding customers and consultants as well that what is the business objects final conversion like what is the consolidation how many tools they are going to decommission and what are the tools which have replaced them so i've just given a, a, a screenshot of the conversion of business objects tools so we have analytics cloud which is a cloud based then we have lumira 2.x which combined the design studio and lumira of the Past. It also replaces VAD, Web Application Designer, and Business Objects Dashboards, which was also called Excel Shares in the past. Then we have the Excel based reporting, which is Analysis Office, Office Integration. Uh, customers who love to you know, still report with Excel. And then we have the drag and drop, uh, slice and dice based reporting, which is Crystal Reports and Web, Web Intelligence. So we'll have total three tools for on-premise, Lumira, Analysis Office, and Crystal Reports and Webby, four rather. And then we have an Analytics Cloud which will gradually replace all these tools. And you know, there's just one tool which you can work in the cloud. Future tool, as I said, is SAP Analytics Cloud. SAP Analytics Cloud, in short called SAC. So SAC has now replaced Lumira Discovery. To be precise, there is something called Stories in Lumira, which has replaced the Lumira discovery. Uh, stories in SAC, sorry, which has replaced Lumira discovery. And 
SAC will soon replace designer also, Lumira designer. So there are two versions of Lumira, Lumira discovery and Lumira designer. Designer has more features and it's uh, intended for IT. And SAC has a component called analytics designer, which will replace the Lumira designer in the future. We have many, many features in analytics cloud. So that's why SAP is positioning that as your one tool to do most of your reporting activities. All right, so that ends the reporting uh, fraternity. And finally, the options or the objects which are still relevant in VW for HANA are info sources, very much alive and kicking and very highly used in LSA++. Transformations, yes, they have been further optimized for HANA. DTP, further optimized to be run in, in HANA. Data sources with new ODP framework, of course. Export data sources are still relevant. That means you can still generate the export data sources. Open hub destinations to send data out of BW, they are still relevant. Process chains uh, with new features like streaming mode. HAP, HANA analysis process. So APD is obsolete, and but HAP is still there. Info areas are still relevant and analysis authorizations are still relevant. So I hope this gave you a brief summary of what tools have replaced which ones. It also probably give you a, a fair idea of where the tool set is uh, moving as a future direction. And of course, we should know that which objects are still relevant. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.